Hello and welcome to my packing process. I leave for Jamaica on Saturday and I have my packing rack all set up with all of my potential outfits and I'm going to try them on and pick out my favorites. And I need your help to help me pick out what I'm packing. So as I try on each outfit, if you could give me a yay or nay down below in the comments or any thoughts that you have, I would appreciate it. So, what do we think? Alyssa told me that this looked like I was wearing a garbage bag and I respectfully disagree. I love the little detailings and I love the tropical print and I love the flowiness. Also, hello, I have these earrings to go with this. Tell me down in the comments, is this too much palm tree? And do I look like I'm wearing a garbage bag? So these little bad boys need to be tied up a little, you know, shorter. And while I know that this is on trend, like, I just came from harvesting in the fields look. I feel like it might be a little extreme for me, but I feel like I should be balancing some fruit on my head and keeping with the balancing on fruit on the head. I love this one on the hanger and I'm not mad at it on, but also it's a little different. What do we think? Do we like it? Do we love it? Do we want some more of it? <laughs> enough to give me an opinion, but these are the reds and these are the purples. And I'm probably packing both pairs, so I can decide there. <laughs> okay, yay or nay? A or nay? I actually really love this one. It comes with a belt, um, but I think it's like one size too small. It fits me fine without the belt, but when I try to put the belt on, it's a closey. I'll show you. You can see it's got the little belt loop situations right here and the belt is supposed to go right there. How cute, right? But that's how far the belt is supposed to go and it's kind of like tight and then it pulls it like super, you know, short and it's a situation. <clears throat> so I was wondering maybe I do some kind of a, I mean, that's not cute, but maybe if it's back like that. That could maybe be some, something like that could be cute. Or maybe I'll wrap it around up here. Uh, no, that's not cute. Okay, well, give me belt ideas if you think I could use this belt with this outfit somehow, uh, because it really just doesn't work as an actual belt. I keep forgetting to discuss accessories. I'm overwhelmed. Okay, do we prefer the red or the yellow? I can't decide. Don't worry, I have another one to choose. I think the red is better than the yellow, but do we like the blue better than the red? What do we think? Or is it not a beaded moment and more of a green moment? Send help. actually love this combo so very much. However, the blazer sleeves are really too long for me, <laughs> but I don't have time to get it, you know, altered or whatever. So I'm hoping that I can just, you know, wear them scrunched up and it doesn't look too crazy. I'm counting on you guys to tell me. I think all of the earrings I just ran through on the last dress would also potentially, you know, complement this, maybe the yellow with this one. Um, so yeah, so that's the situation. The dress is kind of, well, it's really body hugging. It's got a nice little slit right here. It is, um, something I need to wear a sticker bra with. It's got a backless, you know, detailed situation, which I enjoy and I think will be really good for the hot weather. I'm just wondering about the sleeves. Obviously I'm not going to wear them like this. I could cuff them, but then you lose the cute little button detail. So maybe a cuff is fine. I can still wear them scrunched up. Tell me if we like this look and tell me what to do with the sleeve situation. And okay, now we're gonna shift gears from Farm Rio and we're going to go into Lily Pulitzer. 
Now, I understand that it's very controversial and I really want to know what you think of Lily Pulitzer. So tell me down in the comments if Lily Pulitzer is over or if it's making a comeback for you. I personally like it. I think it's so fun and bright and beautiful, but let me hear what you think. Okay, this is Lily number one. I just think it's so pretty and so bright and fun. Um, you know, tell me what you think. It's got a little slit right here. Um, I do have a little pair of white heels to go with my white situations. This is what we've got. And this is the next one. Um, however, all of my friends live on the internet, so I have nobody to finish zipping me and tying me in the back, but it's got a cute little, you know, tie back detail right there. And I think this is cute. I like the other one a little bit better, I think. This one is a little exposy for me. I don't like to have an open chest and legs. It is Jamaica and like 90 million degrees. So anyway, imagine this is closed in the back and let me know what you think about this guy. Okay, I have one more Lily to try on and she's not my favorite, but I'm gonna try it on for you anyway. You know, I don't hate it as much as I did the first time. It feels a little like Malibu Barbie, in my opinion. Do you see Malibu Barbie here? I mean, please. <laughs> Uh, again, I keep forgetting to talk about accessories. Whatever, we're just going to move forward from the accessories. It's fine. Let's work on outfits. This is... Yeah, it's not my favorite. But tell me what you think. Me. Obviously, I would make sure my bra straps are not actually visible in real life. Okay, Malibu Barbie, here we are. What do we think about this? A little bit of a departure from my usual situation. This would be tied in a cute bow. I actually have to Google how to tie a cute bow because I saw an Instagram reel once of how to tie like a perfect bow. Oh, that one came out pretty good. And I was like, wow, there's actually a science to it. Anyway, so I just got these pants recently from TJ Maxx and normally I like immediately reject pants that I can see the pocket outline but these are so comfortable and such a nice gauzy cotton situation that I like them. Um, I love this style shirt but also like I feel like it makes my boobs look almost too giant. What do you think? Are they too giant? Um, but it's got this cute little tie detail back here. Um, and the pants are not too see-through. Like, I am fully wearing underwear, and you can barely tell. You're welcome for that butt shot. Uh, so, I was going to wear this with my white heels. Oh, and I have fun earrings. I know I told you I wasn't going to talk about accessories, but check these bitches out. Wait, I could try to do, like, a real situation, like, boom. Boom, boom. What do we think? Do you hate the earrings? Because... <laughs> I really love them. Um, okay, I have an alternate shirt in case we think this is too much serving boobs on a platter. Let me try it. I guess boobs on a platter is just my life now. <laughs> okay, I don't like this one at all. I think the peach was way cuter. Do you agree? Okay, so this dress is very basic, but it's so nice and soft and it really is flow. Oh, hello leg. Um, it's super flowy. It's got slits on both sides and I really enjoy it. And I feel like I have a necklace that can bring it to the next level. So what do you think? Does it bring it to the next level? I'd probably just wear my um, wedges. I have some natural tan wedges. I'll show them to you. I think this is cute. I mean, hi, this is, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting carried away, but I feel like it's a cute vacation outfit. Got this necklace a couple years ago from TJ Maxx and it's um, Betsy Johnson. And it's just so pretty for like an island vacation. It's a little crooked, but that's fine. So I have another dress to try that I wondered if it would go with this. It's like a blue tie dye. Um, and the colors feel like they might be able to go, but stay tuned. Okay, so I feel like the necklace kind of goes, but then also I feel like the dress is more casual and the necklace is more dressy. So I would love to hear your opinion on that. Let me show you the rest of the dress. We've got slits on the sides. We've got pockets in this bad boy. It ties in the front and then we've got smocking in the back. It's super comfy, super casual, but also I feel like it could be dressed up. And I would like to know what you think about the necklace with it. And this up in a knot right here, like so, or I do like a little front tuck situation. 
there's the front tuck. I could also do an all the way around tuck situation. What do you guys think? Do you hate this skirt? Do you hate the skirt with this t-shirt? Or are you like, holy moly, that actually works together. And then I've just got like a casual um, black sandal. I don't, I'm not married to the black. I might go with like, these would be fun. I've got these yellow ombre wedges, which kind of mirror this situation. So please advise, let me know what you think. I have worn this outfit situation on my last gosh, at least three like tropical vacations. So I'm not one to repeat outfits, but I freaking love it so much. I love the shorts. I love the shirt. It's so fun. Um, so I'm wondering if I should keep it going or if I should move on to some of these new outfits that I have put together. What do we think? Is this an OG classic that needs to make an appearance? I know fashion isn't that serious, you guys, but this is the, literally the highlight of my week is packing for this trip and picking out clothes. Because hi, I play with pigs all day. Um, so do we love this still? Do we keep it? Or do we let it, you know, take a break for this trip? I've tried on about half of the clothing that I have pulled for this trip so far, so you can see why I need help making cuts. Okay, and if you're sitting there thinking like, wait, what's happening? We have a potential travel outfit here. So I like to travel in either a long dress or um, exercise pants. I pulled the exercise pants as a possibility uh, this time because I have a fun little jacket that I'm gonna show you in just a bit. This is my potential um, travel outfit if I don't go with a dress. And now let me show you my super cute uh, jacket. I just feel like this is so like Jamaica looking. I also might be crazy, that's fine. Um, and I just think it would be fun for travel. Also, we are expecting you know, tropically rain situations on and off while we're there. So won't hurt to have a little cute jacket. You guys, how cute is this? And especially for Pride Month. Um, anyway, so this is a potential travel outfit. I'll show you one of the long dresses that I'm thinking about wearing for travel also. And you can tell me if we prefer the dress travel or the smiley face travel. This jacket is coming no matter what, so don't worry about that. Also tell me if you hate it, because I would be curious to know. I know my travel partner, Katie, hates this jacket, but she loves me for who I am and she accepts it. <laughs> okay, well this is not a very good option because I feel like I'm 95 years old. But you know, feel free to give me your comments. I do love this dress. It was just the scarf that was making it feel very old. This is just a Jessica Simpson slits on both sides, long t-shirt dress with a pocket. I have it in blue too. Okay, so this is my other casual dress travel situation. It's got a little wrap, do, wrap doodad in the back, slits on both sides, and then it ties in the front, super comfortable. I always travel with a blanket no matter what, so I won't be cold. Travel option number two. Well, three if you count the green one, but I feel like that's already. Travel option number three, uh, the next one I'm gonna show you is basically the same as this. It's also a long black dress, but it's definitely a different dress. It'll be different sleeves. Um, still, oh, slit on just one side for this guy, just that side. Um, still with a back detail doodad situation back here. I feel like I might like this one a little bit better. Um, for travel possibilities, I could do a necklace. This one might be big. This feels a little tribal to me. I don't know, it's a little strong. What do we think? A little too strong? Let me give you another option. Still a little tribal, but a little more muted. What do we think? It's got a little tassel situation. I wore this necklace with a white dress to the farewell dinner in one of the Mexico trips we went on. I think we've been to Mexico three times in the last like two years, maybe even four times. I don't remember. Anyway, necklace option. This one's fun too. It might be more Africa than Jamaica though, because it's little elephants. What do we think? I would probably do flat shoes, not that you asked, maybe wedges. I love bodysuits. So we're gonna pretend that we don't see my bra straps. I will have 
sticker bras. P.S. If you need to know what to do about bra straps, if you're doing a backlist situation or one of these situations, I highly recommend sticker bras. If you are up to, I mean, I am like a ooh, double D sometimes an E. Guys, every time I gain weight, my boobs just get bigger. Anyway, um, so new bra. I just ordered this one in an E cup. My previous one was a D cup, which did work for me. So it's not going to give you lift, but it is going to pull them together and give like a good shape. I will put one of these on to try on some of my backlist things for you. So I'll talk more about it then. But anyway, sticker bra, new bra brand. You can get it at Nordstrom, Amazon, probably Bloomingdale's or Neiman Marcus. Um, but Target also makes one and Target, I haven't used personally, but I have many friends that have recommended Target being as good as the new bra at a fraction of the price. So do what you will with this information, but I highly recommend sticker bras. I have been wearing sticker bras uh, for you know these trips for, I mean, gosh, five years. Um, and my testimonial is when I wore one all day long in Athens, Greece, in the heat of summer, there was a lot of sweat, but the stickers stayed stuck. So there you are. So back to ignoring my bra straps in this situation. These are paper bag pants that have pockets. I've got it on with a bodysuit um, that I really, I kind of like as, you know, just an alternative to pants. Um, but this doesn't scream island to me. Ooh. But maybe with some island earrings, it will. Could even do. What do we feel? I was also wondering if I could do one of these fancy lady situations that I see on the internet where, you know, this, and then you do a belt like this. Do I have a belt? Do you guys know what I'm trying to do here? Have you seen this? It looks so cute when the bloggers do it. This one is quite the body con dress. Just kidding, this is the slip that goes underneath my next dress. I think this one is so pretty, but is it too, I'm getting married tomorrow? I'm not actually getting married tomorrow, but does this look like I'm getting married and I'm on my pre-wedding vacation or something? Oh my God, you guys, this is the workout. I still have to try on bathing suits. I love the shape of it, um, but it still like covers up most everything. It's got this fun little slip, which is adjustable. I can ruche it like all the way up to here if I want, or I could drag it down a little bit. I've got it basically, where it needs to be so that the rest of it doesn't drag on the ground. Um, and then it's got this twist detail, which at first I really liked, but then I was like, does it look like my dress is just twisted and people are gonna be like, hey, your dress is twisted. It's supposed to look like that. What do we think? You guys, I'm getting out of breath from trying to close. Exercise, Jessica. It's fine, everything's fine. Here we are. I think I have one more outfit to show you with my bra and then we're gonna put on the sticker bra. Okay, here we are. So I feel like this could be a daytime or a nighttime look. I'm undecided on how I feel about the sheerness. So it is very sheer, although it's kind of hard to tell. So I only have, not to make you try to look, but I only have a bra and panties on. You can kind of see, well, there you go. You can super see the outside of my leg there. Um, I could do like a little pair of hot shorts on it, or I could kind of call it good because I'm leaving the, the shirt out in the back. So that's gonna cover any kind of booty situation. And you're not seeing anything in the front because there's so much material. But what do we think? Do you hate this? Do you love this? Do I definitely need additional undergarments underneath or are we cool? Let's give you a little catwalk situation here. It's super, so these are pants, like I said, super flowy. And I just love this so much. And I actually bought it in animal print for when I go to Africa, which is still, I mean, you know, less than a year away, but kind of far away. So here's, here's a glimpse at my Africa situation. Although I might bring this one as well. I love that it covers so much skin, um, but it's, you know, breezy so I'm not going to be sweating while being covered anyway so here we are to learn how to tie cute bows but 
Um, I did get strapped into my sticker bra and this is what we've got. So these are also pants. As you can see, I'm a fan of big wide leg pants on vacation. To wear this shirt with another top or another bottom that I will show you right after this, but these are the pants that I just think are so much fun. Okay, so let me see if I can do this tear away situation. Ta-da! And then I have this skirt. So, do we like the top with both of them? Do we like one more than the other? You see where I'm struggling here? Okay, so this by itself, I'm not like a super fan of. It feels a little like sports bra top-ish, I don't know. But I have um, this set, and then I have two different like cover type toppers for it. Okay, so I have this like silk, handkerchief type topper situation um, from Italy that I just think is so beautiful, but I almost never wear it. So I've got this as an option, option number one. And then this is option number two. I don't know if this feels too bathrobe-ish or if it's like pretty maxi dress-ish. And I did buy a second one so that Alyssa and I could be twins. I just don't know. Alyssa said she really liked this, but I need your opinions. You guys, um, my timer situation thing is at one hour and 17 minutes. I've been trying on clothes for one hour and 17 minutes, bless my heart. I hope I can edit this down to under 20 minutes for you. I feel like Italy is way better over black. What do we think? God, I don't know. I do kind of like this color too. Need you to imagine that this guy has been steamed or ironed, um, but this is what I'm thinking of wearing to our farewell dinner. It's backless. This would be tied in a pretty bow once I learn how to do that. Our farewell dinner theme is don't worry, beach happy. And I just feel like this is super nice and flowy. Our farewell should probably be on the beach so I could totally go barefoot and just like live my best life and eat all of the food and dance all of the dances in this guy and look even when you like move around my poops are not too all over the place another you know thing for the sticker bra okay I have two more three more three more dresses I have three more dresses to try on four if you count the extra one that I bought to give to somebody but maybe maybe you'll end up wearing who knows stay tuned I love the style so very much. It's backless, which I just really think is super fun. Um, but I don't love, love this print the most. Do you love this print the most? Is this a keeper or is this a stayer? Like a stayer at Homer. What do we think? Okay, see, I wish the last dress was in this print because I love this print. I love the style also. Similarly, it's got an open back with all kinds of crisscrossy detail situations. It's long, it's flowy, it's from the same brand, um, M-A-A-J-I. But this one is very <laughs> boobalicious. I have my sticker bra on, but you can actually see the little sticker bra connector right there if you look very closely. Nobody should be looking that closely at my boobs anyway, but you never know. Um, I think I'm gonna pack this anyway because I think this would be like a fun daytime dress or even maybe just throw it on over my bathing suit even if I already have 10 bathing suit cover-ups that I maybe might pack. Whatever. It's vacation. I always like to say there's no awards for underpacking or overpacking. So you just do what you want. Okay, so this one is a similar style to my Don't Worry Beach Happy. It actually needs to be tied up a little tighter, but I'm being lazy now. <laughs> um, and I really love this dress. It's super flowy. Like I said, it's got to be tied up a little tighter. So that's how the back should look. And that's how the front should look. Um, I really like this one. I'm almost wondering if I should just save it for like a 4th of July function because it is the red, white, and blue. What do we think? Save it for 4th of July or bring it to Jamaica? As you can see, I have many other options. <laughs> Help me. Okay, and this was one of the very first dresses that I bought for the Jamaica trip. Um, but now I have picked up so many more things. I might not actually end up needing it, but I plan to bring it anyway, just in case a wild hair strikes me to wear it or in case somebody else needs a dress because 
I really like to dress people. Just ask the girls that I have put into my bathing suits on the last two trips. It's a fun time, right? It's a Jessica Posh fashion show. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so this is my last potential contender. So please tell me what were your favorites? What did you hate? What should definitely stay home? Are you going to try a sticker bra now? And comment, comment, comment. You guys, thank you so much for watching my packing for Jamaica situation. I, it's actually more of my help me pick my clothes out situation. Uh, I didn't even get to show you my hats. I have so many fun hats. Such a hat lover. Um, I, I can't bring them all though. So I've got this one. I will probably bring this one because it's my hide from the sun hat and I love it. Then I've got this one, which is the extreme hide from the sun hat. My friend Christina Chapman nicknamed this the secret telling hat because you can literally get a friend under here to tell secrets. Uh, this one probably won't come, <laughs> even though I totally love it. It's so awkward to pack, like it is wider than most suitcases. And while it's a packable hat and you can squish this a little bit, as you can see, like there's already a little bit of a dent going on right here that I need to reshape. So it's quite a situation to pack this guy. But if I go with uh, my black dress for traveling, I mean, I could wear this in the airport. That would be awkward too. Anyway, I love this hat, but it's probably not coming. And I love these, well, this doesn't match my dress, but I love these um, open tops because they're not as hot on your head and I can still wear my top knot situation. I was shopping on tjmaxx.com. Again, I need to work with the shape of this, but this is just <clears throat> a cute little open top visor situation that I think will be super cute by the pool. I'm all about keeping that sun off your face because it ages you. The fish is coming because I always bring the fish for a pool bag. This is also a cooler bag, so I really like it for popping like a water and my sunblock into. But my Fit Fun just got here and I got this neoprene tote bag. So I feel like I might pack both. You guys, I am such an overpacker. But it's okay because there's no there's no um, awards or penalties for being an overpacker. So I'm probably gonna bring this guy as well. I really love this. Green tote. Um, I didn't show you all of the shoes I'm going to bring, but there's going to be a lot of those too. You guys, please help me. Please help me pick what I'm going to wear. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna try on bathing suits later today. Oh, hello. In case I forget to tell you, please hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss another Jessica Bosch video. Hitting that thumbs up button lets me know that you like these kinds of videos and I will make more. Thanks for watching.